watch you guys never get locked out of windows 11 again that's what we're going to be talking about and i'll show you how to do it in this video but first a quick word from today's sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for a cheap windows 10 or a windows 11 oem pro key then you can go in the links in the video description click on the buy now button and use my promo code capital b capital r 09 and get 30 percent off your order apply this to your order and then when you get your key code you should be able to activate your windows 10 or windows 11 pro so let's talk about never being locked out your pc again so you can see here you type your password in and you can't get in because you forgot your password this is a very common experience and many people always forget their passwords and if you have the right software you can easily reset your password let me show you how we're going to be doing it in this video by using MS Dart. Now, MS Dart has been out for many, many years, and you can still use the older versions to reset your password. So, we're going to be using MS Dart 10 here, and basically, we're going to reset our passwords. So let me boot up to our bootable USB flash drive. You'll see a message looking like this. I'm going to click yes here. We need to choose our language so it suits many different countries for many different languages. Once you're here, click on Troubleshoot when you get to the Choose an option. Next, under the Troubleshoot, Microsoft Diagnostic and Recovery Toolset, which is MS Dart for short, and we're going to be using this tool to recover our password. When I click on Windows 11 here, you will be getting the MS Dart Diagnostic and Recovery Toolset, and there's a ton of options here. What we're interested in is the Locksmith option here, which is going to unlock our PC. So you can see there's tons of useful tools inside here which we can use to do many different things but we're going to be using the locksmith wizard here so now we need to choose our account that we're locked out of i'm going to choose the bright tech account here now we can put in our new password that we want to use so let me go ahead and put in a new password here which we want to use you won't be able to click next because you need to put in a password for this account so let's go ahead and choose a new password which we can remember and then we can click on the next button once we filled this area here. Now there is other areas which you can change passwords on as well, which will be listed here. But I'm going to be using this one to reset my account, which I'm locked out of. So let's go ahead and put in a password here. I'm going to put something simple in here. And once I do this, you'll see the next button uh, comes up here so we can click next. So let's go ahead and click on next to move to the next stage. So now we can click finish and close off the diagnostic and recovery tool set box here by clicking close and then we can click OK here and then continue to boot to Windows 11 here. So click continue here to exit and continue to Windows 11. If you're using Windows 10, you can use this method as well. Now, who thinks in the comment section below that this should be added into every version of Windows? I think it will be super easy for people to do this and they won't have to go and and buy any software or anything like that. So now we need to put in our password. So I'm going to quickly put in our password here that we created, and then we can push enter. And you should see the user password must be changed before signing in. So we need to change our password. So we can now click on OK, and then we can then change our password. So let's go ahead and do this. New password. Here we go. So we can now put in our new password. So I'm going to put in a password that I want to use to sign into this PC. You can use whatever password you want to use. So let me just do something here so I can remember it. There we go. And now we can click on the enter key to uh, make this create our password. It will say changing password. Your password has been changed. We can then log into our PC and now you have access to your desktop. That simple. We've easily done this. Now this also, this tool set has many, many uses as well. There's loads of different tools in here, which I find very useful. And it's a great addition to any sort of toolkit, especially if you do PC repair and stuff like that. So if you enjoy this type of content, check out my YouTube channel. I've got over 2,500 videos on here, all about technology on how to fix computers, how to build computers, and also how to remove malware and ransomware and other things like that. Also, while you're there, you might as well click the subscribe button and then click the bell and then click all to be notified when I upload new videos. If you want to support me a little bit more financially, you can click the join button and join my YouTube members group. I've got three tiers of support. 
you can choose which one suits your budget. You can cancel at any time and it's a great way of showing your appreciation to what I do here on YouTube. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. I just want to say a quick shout out to all these awesome people that have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. If you fancy a chat, then don't forget the links in the video description for our Discord server. It's free to join and I shall see you over there. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.